Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Trials HD map. These are the type of maps I call warehouse maps because to me that's pretty much what they are. They're just kind of warehouse stuff. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is set up the track. Now there's going to be a lot of extra time in here so I'm going to try to talk about a lot of things. Um, but the first thing you want to do is just delete a whole bunch of space, you know, clear out a big area for you to do, you know, whatever, just kind of you know, click out, just delete a whole bunch of random things just to help you start brainstorming. Now, two main things I want to press in your head is test and save. You constantly want to be testing and saving. Alright, so right here, I'm just, you know, putting random things around, seeing what looks good, kind of brainstorming a little bit. I, I already have an idea in my head. I'm like, okay, this is kind of interesting. So what you're going to want to do if you're feeling a little confused is just if you like certain obstacles or whatever just build them like right there you know I just made a simple down up thing up here I'm gonna try to get the rider to jump on top of that so you know just if you've played a certain track then you like a certain obstacle like you know say a loop de loop or whatever just make something like that now I'm gonna lower it because obviously the rider couldn't get that high I'm just gonna add stuff and you know put a whole bunch of random things everywhere you know just you know, simple things like the ramps right now, we can worry about details later, which we will. For now, I'm just, you know, seeing, okay, here's an idea. I'm going to put it here, and, you know, I'll test this later, and hopefully it'll work out. And, you know, if it doesn't, you can always edit it. But keep remembering to save and test. Test, or step two, test. <laughs> like I was just talking about, you want to test. Make sure it works. If it doesn't work, it could ruin your map. You can have a really nice looking map, but if you can't get to the second checkpoint because you didn't test enough and it doesn't work, no one's going to enjoy it. So right here I'm just you know going around adding little things. I'm trying to I already have my idea like I said now I'm brainstorming a little bit adding some stuff. I'm gonna see if I can get the rider to jump across and go down but you know I'm gonna try to make a little obstacle of what's gonna stop him from going down right away. So I'm just building things. So while you're doing this you know just improvise put something be like oh I have an idea or oh I remember this from this track and just implement that into yours. Step three, rough design. Now that you've got the main area of your track set up, you're just gonna gonna want to go in through and just add random obstacles, like you know, like a background. Like right here, I'm just putting random boxes just to fill the space. And you're just gonna want to do this in the main areas of your map, not all of the areas yet. <coughs> so just add some simple little things like this. It doesn't need to make perfect sense. Just make sure it looks like you know you don't have flying stuff all over the place unless that's what you want but for a warehouse map like this you don't want that now test again test 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 make sure it looks good make sure it works good the main thing make sure it's enjoyable don't make it where you know it's one of those things where it's like a one in a hundred chance that it's gonna work because I've had maps like that that I've made you know way back when I started and it's just not fun so continue with the rough design just keep adding random things you know over here I'm just building stuff and you know with these uh, warehouse maps you can pretty much just put random things anywhere because these are all objects you know you could find in a warehouse or in a shipyard not shipyard uh, I don't know those areas where they just have a bu bunch of boxes or whatever so now I'm starting to take some things out like those uh, ramps I'm gonna start doing what I call substituting which you know obviously makes sense when you see what I'm doing um, but now just you know make the ramps or whatever you have start making them with different objects just to kinda get an idea you know oh what could I make with this what could I make with this and test test again and again test to make sure this works see right here obviously it's too low so I'm gonna raise it up move things around a little bit make sure it flows more or whatever smacking my head still I can get across still smacking my head so to lift it up a lot higher now I made it here so you could easily jump across on the top and I kinda don't want that so I'm gonna build a little thing right here a little explosive so now if you can jump over like a little shortcut but you have to do the hop perfectly if not then you're gonna hit and die but then you put something else around it to look interesting now again like I said substitute and add substituting you know in trials is just take out your little you know rough draft version your little sketch of the track and instead place other objects in its place and then you're gonna add like right there and then test you're gonna go down see I just after I added that little object on the top I'm gonna see if it works it doesn't work 
So now I deleted it, and I'm putting other stuff in its place. You're going to keep wanting to substitute and add over and over and over. If something doesn't work, substitute, add something else in its place, you know, do whatever, test. Substitute, add, and test. S-A-T. Like those tests you take at school if you're in California or wherever those tests are. So again, doesn't work. Substitute, add. Now just make little stacks, these little piles, whatever. It's your own map. You can do whatever you want. But if you want, you can always just do what I'm doing. So bingo, it works. Uh, right here, step four, improve structure and design. So what I mean by structure is the little substitutions you've been doing, make them look better. And with the design, obviously, you know, replace certain objects, move objects in the background around, improve it, make it look better. Right here, now you know, it makes sense. Over here, I kind of don't like this, it's just kind of random. So I'm going to substitute, add, and improve, right, this part. So I'm keeping the original little pieces there so I know, you know, what works. And then I'm going to place these other things and line them up with the ramp right in the middle. So you delete that, add a little plywood, and now not only does it look better, but it works just the same. Now, as you can see, I'm adding boxes everywhere. You just want to put something to keep the person, you know, don't make it so plain. You know, add some flavor to it. Put some boxes, put whatever you want. I'm putting cars in the background right now. I have this idea that you'll see in just a minute where I'm going to have that fall from the background because, you know, you want to add some movement to it. You don't want to be, you know, just a rider by himself in a little warehouse. You want to have a little action going on. So I'm going to have a little physics car and have it fall down. Added uh, fences, you know, you can just brainstorm, improvise, add something you think is cool. Add a hinge to the fence so, you know, it sways, not just like it's just sitting there, you know, being static. See, now it sways. So here I have these little things to keep you from going down, and I'm putting up triggers so that you have to hit the trigger to make it break. Now that didn't work, so I'm moving it, testing, substituting, adding constantly. Step five, advanced scenery and improvements. Again, just add a whole bunch everywhere. Make it, you know, have a whole bunch of things. Physics, don't just have a full static thing. Make a lot of physics and improve little bits of the map. Keep testing, like right here, and improve little bits. Move this here so it looks better, you know, whatever it is. Keep improving, testing, and try to use physics as best as you can because they really add a lot. Right here is another example of physics. I just make a little barrel fall, and it just seems like, you know, whatever, but when you're playing, it's a little more entertaining to see a barrel or something happen in the background rather than you by yourself. At the end, I'm just adding random little objects, just make it look a little more daring or, you know, hard or just more entertaining. I mean, really, it's the same jump. I'm just adding stuff nearby. Now, again, I'm just adding a whole bunch of things, you know, try to add physics, implement physics, you know, make it seem, once again, you know, more dangerous than it really is. All it is is a jump, and you're going to add some stuff. Now, f right here, I'm just, for the end, I just think it'd be interesting, as you've seen with a lot of Trials maps, they just kill you, so, at the very end, you're going to beat it and die. <laughs> Sorry. Again, this is your map, so just add stuff, you know, add whatever you want, just try to make it a little more entertaining, a little more flashy to the eye. Right here I'm just showing you all this extra stuff so you can have some ideas of, you know, what you could do. I could just put random shelves in the background and, you know, I'm adding little things on it just, you know, just to be there. Now you can also, if you add little shelves, have things fall off or whatever. It makes it a lot more entertaining than just something sitting there. So just keep going through your map, just go through it, add things all over the place. You know, you see some areas of blocks that aren't there we'll put something there, not just a block, you know, that you can do A and Y with. Add something interesting, like see I have smoke coming out of these things. You know, in the beginning also, you don't really need it that amazing because they're going to be gone from the beginning very fast, so you just want to build something kind of quick, a little easy, you know, put some explosives or, you know, put a preview of what the map is going to be, kind of in a sense. You know, there's explosives, so just put explosives there. Now, you want to add lights, cameras, and well, action, which is the physics. The cameras are a little tricky. I notice for some people they can make or break your map. Make sure you do uh, check camera view and edit it from inside there. And you're going to want to test a lot to see, you know, what it really looks like. Also, you know, with your new camera angles, certain areas you might see are blank. So fill those up with new things. Uh, lights, you're going to want to put lights around to make it look more interesting. I don't do it here. I do it later. But um, you're going to put cameras and lights and see I'm adding sh uh, 
boxes because I noticed with my camera you couldn't see it. Now again as you can see I'm testing it making sure it looks cool with the camera. Now it kind of falls down with the camera but it doesn't work. So I have to move some things you know make sure it looks really cool. So I'm just going to sit here for a second and let you watch this. Alright, step 7, finishing touches. Now you're going to want to go through the map and just add little things. Right here I'm doing track settings, sunlight color, ambient colors, you know, dust color. And just give it a mood. Make it dark, make it bright, make it green, make it blue. Give it a mood that you like, that fits with your map. Right here I was trying a pinkish look that I kind of like. And I think later I ended up staying with it. But go through, add finishing little touches. He added a few boxes there, a little piece of wood or whatever. Just go through, you know, hear the lights I was talking about, add some lights, make it a little more dynamic, make it darker or make it brighter, whatever you want, whatever makes it look better. Just move it around and test and have fun. Now you want to set the difficulties and times after a whole bunch of testing so you know how long it is and save it and, you know, export it. You're going to want to be saving it. Unfortunately, I mentioned this earlier, you're going to want to save it a lot. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys that, but, um, yeah, once you're done, just share it and enjoy it, you know, tell your friends about it, show them what you made, upload it, you know, link it to me or something so I can see it, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.